And I'll start this a little bit differently this time. We're looking at these two angles. So the 3G plus 40 and the 5G minus 12. So when we look for what pattern we're talking about here, it's an upside down F or rotate it around. So that, if you can see the F pattern there, that means that these are corresponding angles. All right, so now we have our upside down and backwards F. So again, we're talking about an F pattern. So these are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. So this is a little bit different than uh, other situations we've seen, but we're, it's still the same idea. And what we have to do is set these two angles equal to each other or set these two expressions equal to each other. So we can write this as 3G plus 44 is equal to 5G minus 12. And so what we have to do now is solve for G. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of one of the terms with the variable from one side of the equation. So we're going to do that by subtracting 5G from both sides. And 5G minus 5G is 0. So when we do that, we eliminate the G term from the right-hand side of the equation. But remember, we have to subtract 5G from the other side of the equation as well. So we're subtracting 5G from both sides of the equation. And 3G minus 5G is negative 2G. And so the left side um, simplifies to be negative 2G plus 44. And 0 minus 12 is negative 12. Now, we, what we're going to do next is, since we're adding 44, we're going to use the opposite operation. So we're going to subtract 44. And the uh, left side simplifies to be negative 2G. And negative 12 subtract 44 is negative 56. And what we're going to do next is we have to divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate G. And so negative 2G divided by negative 2 uh, and we also have to make sure that we divide negative 56 by negative 2. And neg the negative 2s cancel out, and we're left with 1g. And negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 56 divided by 2 is 28. So our answer for g, g is 28. So now what we're going to do is take our g equals 28, and we're going to sub in to our equation. So 3g plus 44 is equal to, now when we sub in for g equals 28, 3 times 28 is 84, and 84 plus 44 is 128, and so we can um, put this into our diagram, so 3g plus 44, th uh, sorry, 3g degrees plus 44 degrees is 128 degrees, and for 5g minus 12, when we sub in for g equals 28, we get uh, 5 times 28 is 140. Subtract 12 is 128. So we find that 5g degrees minus 12 degrees would be 128 degrees. And note that these two are, angles are equal, which goes along with the fact that corresponding angles are equal.